Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Emmanuel Arts. My name is Priyanka. Today we are going to make paper organizer from popcorn boxes. I have tons of popcorn boxes in my house just because me and my husband eat popcorns over the weekend when he's not working. All the time we have a bag of popcorn that is popping in the microwave and we are munching on the popcorn and watching movies and I think popcorn is something that we both love so much. So I have a lot of popcorn boxes and today I'm going to use these boxes to make paper organizer for my art studio. So the materials you require for this project are popcorn boxes. I use three popcorn boxes but you can use two, four, five, how much ever your requirement is but the process remains the same. Then you need a pair of scissors, of course, for cutting the box and the tape. I'm using a tape gun for a tape gun, but you can use any thick packaging tape that um, that is available with you. A tape gun is not necessary. And to decorate, I'm using scrapbooking paper and stickers, uh, but you can use anything you want. You can use uh, construction papers. You can use newspapers and then color the newspapers and paint it according to your decor but this is like a very versatile project so you can use anything you want it is also a recycle project so using newspapers is is more recycled so but i for this for tutorial purposes i've used scrapbooking papers and stickers you can use absolutely anything to decorate your paper organizer so let's jump into the tutorial now i'll see you at the other side so let's begin with the tutorial. I took a popcorn box and um, I opened a, a flap, all the flaps on one side of the pop box and I'm going to cut all the four flaps. So I've cut one side of the flaps, then you um, make, get it on the big longer side and cut one side, one of the longer sides. Make sure that you're careful and the scissors don't hurt you. So cut the uh, sides of the flap in such a way so that it stands up which makes it easier for you to cut the last part of the flap. So this is how you cut the box for the stand. Uh, you cut one long side and one short side. I went ahead and cut two more boxes of popcorn. So now let's start attaching them together. What I've done here is I've already pre-cut my tape and what we do is put the box on sideways and take the take a larger tape, not a small one, and attach half of it on one side of the box and then fold it over to the other side of the box. This goes on the top of the box the long ways. So the long side that we cut, we attach the tape long ways on that side. If the tape is bigger than the size of the box, just trim it off. Similarly, we'll attach the other one. Just make sure that the tape is even on both the sides and the boxes are firm on the flat surface and they are not one is not up above the surface or the box will not be even on the at the bottom so again i stuck this and again i'll trim this off the excess tape the next step is 
to tape the back side of the boxes. You take a longer tape and press the boxes together and tape it. To secure, secure it, what I do is I cover the whole area Okay, this can happen the tape sometimes wants to play tricks so it doesn't want to come off so to make the box more secure what I'm doing here is I'm covering the whole back of the boxes so that it's it's properly stuck together I, you can overlap the tape too so here I've applied two tapes right here and then you flip it over and on the bottom here on the long side you apply tape too so, and it's in the same way you press the boxes together and then apply the tape and make sure that you cover the whole bottom of the box and so that it is secured properly I always try to overlap some tape on on the previous one just because it makes it more sturdier so this is how you get all the three boxes to stick to each other and we'll come back with the decorations before we begin decorating this organizer I figured that the sides of this organizer is little weak it's not sturdy enough it's not firm and if you put any papers in the organizer it'll bend over and fall with the weight of the papers so what I did is I took a fourth popcorn box and cut the side panels of the popcorn box and all we need to do is tape it inside the walls end walls of the organizer so I you, similarly the way we attach the boxes you just take a piece of tape and fold it over and tape it and again you cut the excess I don't know why I cut such long tapes but you, you can always trim off the excess and what I did here is I I put the colored side inside and the rough side on the outer side again on the other side similarly you tape it Now to stop this from moving, all you need to do is take a smaller tape and apply it long ways. And then cut the tape. And what we can do is we can tape all the all the standing panels similarly so that they don't look that they are weak so you give it more to make it more firm you just tape it so you'll need four tapes for four walls The more tape makes it more sturdier that's what the key is so just tape and make the box as secure as possible so that's it and now the walls are more sturdy firm and sturdy so now when I come back again we will begin the decorations 
So for the decorations, what I did is I took a 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper and I turned it over to the white side and then drew the parts where I want to cover my uh, box with the paper. So this box is for the base or the bottom of the organizer. And then these two are the side panels, one here and the other one here. And then you need one more for the back of the organizer. So all you need to do is put put it firmly on the paper, um, on the scrapbooking paper or whatever you're using, whether it's a newspaper or a construction paper, and then just draw the lines. You may need, you may have to use more than one construction paper because they are not 12 by 12. But for the news, for with the newspaper, it'll be okay. Um, I think one newspaper will be enough. So then, once you're done drawing all the parts of the of the organizer on the scrapbooking paper, just take a pair of scissors and cut them off, like so. And this is the side panel that will be of my organizer. I'll cut all the pieces of my for my organizer and come back. So I went ahead and covered the three sides of the organizer with the uh, scrapbooking paper and I'm going to show you how to cover the fourth side. The piece of paper is here. If you want to, the first, the first part will be a little difficult so what I do is I put put it on the table and cover, stick the tape half on the paper and the table and then pull it off and then you can easily stick it on this side and then obviously as I mentioned as I mentioned before if it is if the tape is long you can just cut trim off the axis and here on the other side I just folded it and then on this side because there are panels here you first attach the tape and then you make a slit mark where the there is the inside panel make sure you do not cut the so there's a slit mark right here you do not cut the cut the paper okay so just flip it inside Then for the back side, the same way, stick the tape and cut off the axis or right this side you can just stick it on the sides. Final side, so this covers all four sides of the box, and then I'll then you can take the stickers. I'm take I am using dog stickers and owl stickers. Owl are one of my favorite birds. I love owl. So all you need to do is if all you need to do is put stickers on both the sides. You don't need to put it on the back or the bottom because if you're putting the panel on the attach if that panel if the panel or the organizer is at to the wall then they won't you won't be able to see the stickers. So just put stickers on the side. So I'm just going to apply 
a couple of owls on this side you probably choose all one of each color and then on the other side I'll use the dog I haven't even opened this yet. so just take any any dog I'm just taking any sticker that I would like not and nothing in particular probably put some hearts fire hydrant right here and a couple of bones So this is how we decorate it and this is what the organizer looks like. To complete my organizer I use washi tape to around the edges so to give it a neater look and a finished look. This makes uh, the edges clean and sharp if you if you have if you cut the paper in it's not aligned properly and you have, if you have cut it in a wrong way and your box is showing this will cover up all the all the box that shows and it also gives it a funky and uh, clean look for this organizer there are a lot of things you can put in the organizer like I have some artist pads uh, here which I can put it in the organizer this is my art class diary which I take to my art class and then I have a lot of stickers I can put my stickers in here it's a good way to organize my stickers and also some clear stamps Usually the clear stamps are always in the plastic, in plastic, so you can uh, organize them in here too. Um, I know you cannot do the rubber stamps, but these are really good to put in the smaller ones. Also, um, to try, I tried the smaller one and then I made a bigger one with cereal boxes. This is still work in progress. I haven't finished it yet. I haven't decorated it yet but I have I have the base ready uh, these this one I thought about making uh, for my paper that uh, papers foam sheets that are larger like I have a lot of different types of foil sheets and um, metal metallic sheets I even use a lot of transparencies for for my projects for uh, my art class with the kids so I use, usually use a lot of transparency so that gets, it fits perfectly in this one. And I have a lot of crafting paper for my punch crafts uh, that fits here. I have a lot of foam sheets. So I have a lot of things to organize. You can even put your construction papers in here. Uh, even your card stocks. If you, have, if you are into card making, you can put a lot of all your card stocks in here you can even make like more attach more boxes and separate the card stock color wise so th there are endless of endless things you can do with this um, organizer i hope you like my tutorial and if you do like my tutorial please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel for more uh, recycled diy videos i even upload a lot of painting videos for young and old Please do subscribe to my channel to keep uh, to be updated about e every new video that I post. Thank you and have a good day.